Howdy folks, this is Checkers back again with another episode of our Nickel Tour Let's Play of No Man's Sky. If you're on PC and you hold the alt key, you can look about your cockpit. Anyway, uh, one other thing I should mention, I know that Hello Games isn't ever going to see this video, but it would be so wonderful if developers would allow you to name save files and save games. If you're only going to have such a thing as a subsection of, say, a character or a save file, let me name it. Just, just let me name it. It would be awesome. Right now I have five saves, and the only way I can differentiate them is by the amount of time played and the last time they were played. But once those numbers get close, then things get a little confusing. Okay, enough of that. We have just landed our boat here on a new rock. And I got back in the boat so we wouldn't take any environmental damage. But it appears that we must interact with broken technology. Well, let's get to it, shall we? 161616 log entry 4925C follows. The sparking wires of the machine generate a signal tapping out its broadcast into the void. Whoever left the message is long gone. Decipher signal. Entry 4925C no fuel in sh failed to reach station. Hazard protection low, no choice but to sh underground. Sh 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 deployed base computer. As well as log entry, the signal contains plans for a base computer and a terrain manipulator. With any luck, the base computer will hold more information about whoever is leaving these messages. Download plans. Don't mind if we do. New technology discovered, terrain manipulator, landscape shaping tool, advanced terraforming device. This module overloads existing multi-tool systems, allowing the user to reshape regions as they wish charged with metallic elements and we need two carbon nanotubes and one dihydrogen jelly to create that and it also said something about a base computer now let's hop in our boat again and see let's see we want to go to our multi-tool and press e to install technology terrain manipulator so two nanotubes and the dihydrogen jelly uh whoops overshot come back to our exosuit and carbon nanotube now once you've already built something like the nanotubes you can press e while you're mousing over it to create another one quite readily now we need some dihyd uh the dihydrogen jelly we need two more dihydrogen so we will just come over and get some at a distance we can also scan them I suppose just to be formal and all hey did we ever even scan these creatures no new world new creatures whoopsie and there's the chat key which can't be remapped or turned off either exciting times Okay, uh, well, let's go see what these are. Uh, hmm. Well, I am not entirely sure. So why don't we go with Discovery, and we will call you a snake dog. Because we can. And so we'll get 10, 10 nanite clusters for that. There's another creature room. Whoa, and lots of birds. Birds are a little trickier to scan. But we got one. Sternwea, intelligent diet, staying leaves. Excellent sense of smell. We will once more go back to our discoveries and upload them. We'll just do a straight upload this time and get more of those nanite clusters. Now, if you look in the upper left here, I got confused left and right last episode. Sorry about that. 
but underneath my name checkers you see that I have 8022 units that is our cash currency 50 nanite clusters these are used to trade for blueprints and technology modules very handy and while we're here let's go ahead and build that dihydrogen jelly and then come over to our multi-tool and install the terrain manipulator well it got dark fast okay so gather copper so to gather copper wow look at that it is a giant ewok with horns uh, it is a Kansukie, long distance migration, male, diet, solar vine, cannot see color. Um, so why don't we call that, I got to name that one, X the miniature giant um, Ewok. There, we don't even step on any copyrights that way. Now, copper. So we hit our scanner, look around the world, then press our visor, which is the F key. And there's a cargo drop, phosphorus deposit, cobalt deposit, health restorative, debris, and phosphorus deposit. Ooh, more creatures to scan. And okay but where is copper copper there we go and something else that we're going to scan apparently um amulite all right so oh wait let's uh tag our copper here we just hold use to tag it get a little marker down there actually before we wander off let's go back to the boat switch off terrain manipulator so we get rid of that red ball and just recharge our environmental protection and while we're at it why don't we recharge our oxygen as well because breathing breathing is good okay so copper deposit 300 units now, one of the cool things that you can do once you... Oh, there's one of those sneaky, nasty little ambush plants. Like a plant scorpion, stationary plant scorpion. Anyway, um, one of the cool things that you can do later on once you have more resources is there is another giant Ewokish type creature. And, okay, we will slide down the hill here. And critters, critters everywhere. There's some carbon plant. Scan that quick. Because we get credits, we get units, the cash, and we also get nanites when we upload. Um, but as I was saying, one of the cool things that you can do later on when you have more resources is summon your vehicle. Not only... Can you summon your boat? But eventually, it seems, you will get a vehicle. And, oh yes, a freighter and other ships. Anyway, so when you go off tracking down something, technology or resources or a hidden artifact, and you get a little too far away from your boat, you can bring it right to yourself. Okay, so here is our copper deposit. We need our terrain manipulator, which we have and we start strip mining the world and this is the thing that i mentioned in the last episode that the sentinels at least the ones i've run into so far will happily stand by and watch you do touch one crystal one plant one tree one rock there's going to be a problem bore a hole in the world and steal massive amounts of resources that's cool I can dig it, you know. I float around, I get bored. I'd, I'd like to strip mine the planet too, but they didn't equip me with one of those, so you just go ahead and do it for me. All right. Um, and we are going to have to recharge this. This goes through its power source, its energy source, much faster than the mining beam. And to refill, we need ferrite dust. So 
so we will scan these quick just in case there is a bonus element that we would like to enjoy as well. No, but, you know, there's always a chance. Uh, pure ferrite. There's a ship flying overhead. And some more ferrite dust. Just to be on the safe side. And then we go back to Terrain Manipulator, press our menu, uh, Recharge Equipment, F, and it pretty much auto-selects the lowest thing. And there you go. Sometimes you have to be careful, though, if you have stacked minerals. So, like, you have more than one stack of minerals, say if we had two carbons or more than one stack of ferrite dust. It will take the lowest first. And so you might end up, you know, charging your beam by only 1%. Oh, here's our sentinel, who will happily watch us strip mine. But anyway, yeah, if you have like two stacks, it'll use up the lowest stack first. So just keep an eye on the percentage of your tool there, whether it's your mining beam or your terrain manipulator or what have you, to be sure that it has charged as much as you would like it to charge. Let's kick on our torch, our flashlight. I don't use this very often. It's not a very impressive torch to me. Anyway, let's see, back to Terrain Manipulator with 10% remaining. And there we go. Now we need to find some more ferrite dust, but preferably out of eyesight of the rather annoying um, sentinels. Well, hi there, everybody. Have you all been scanned? I kind of dig the casual scanning. No Man's Sky can be either very energetic and hostile or very mellow and safari like it's really your choice what are we not being oh i don't think we can scan the dead one all right well anyway don't mind me they're critters i just need some dust Ooh, these are minerals as well these uh look like mushrooms with pineapple slices on them And our hazard protection is falling. Boat is way back there, so let's just use our sodium and get back to train manipulator and menu recharge. 30%. Okay, so we may not get the entire deposit here. But. much easier in daylight to see what is actually rock and what is actually copper. Let's see, what did we need? A base computer. I think that's 40 uh, chromatic metal. Let's check. Z to build and base computer is 40 chromatic metal. So let's get back to the boat. Bypass. Let's go on by the uh, giant Ewok there. All right, and be about it. I've found little Ewoks before. I've never found a giant one. And you are? Uh huh. Just critters everywhere. Pure ferrite. Identify material. Sentinels just kind of pop out of the ground. Someone's excited. Okay, there we go. Back to the boat. 
We'll set up our refinery and get to work on some chromatic metal, which is just refined copper. So refinery out and use, and we will input our large stack of copper, some carbon, we're gonna need more, we'll get that started. Um, not a big world on carbon. Oh, there we go. Ooh, let's see what we got over here, too. Ox oxygen, a very excited whatever that is. Cannibal. You go, shine on, you crazy diamond. Uh, there we go, carbon. We can kill creatures to get carbon. If I don't have to, I don't do it. Scan that quick. Just for the credits and nanites. Units and nanites, I should say. The closer you are, the more damage you do up to a point. But sometimes I think it's just easier to do it at a distance. Okay. Ooh, selenium as a bonus element. Okay. And what about the noodles sticking up out of the ground? What are those? Okay, well, I can't let that slide. Hmm. Which one was the noodle? Wave right that thing. All right then. You shall be the noodle. I can't remember what those twisted noodles. The noodle twist. There we go. Now I feel better. For the rest, we will upload all. And we will do the same with the rest of our critters. And 80 nanite clusters. Nice. Okay, so. A bit more of our noodle twist carbon here. Because we're going to need to recharge our mining beam as well as our refinery. What are those? More flora. Carbon and coprite. Okay, and of course a sentinel to make sure we are not having too much fun. That's easy for you to say, critter. Alright, and... Recharge our carbon here. And continue with our chromatic metal. Let's hop in the boat quick to recharge our hazard protection. Pop open our inventory. Take a look at what we're carrying on our person. 110 carbon. Come over to multi-tool. And you can also you can reload either from the menu or from your inventory. I think when the game first came out, you could only reload from the inventory. So I, I tend to do this. I think a little more often than the menu. All right. And it has this weird thing where I just did reload the terrain manipulator, so it switched to it, but it's not consistent. You reload, say, your terrain manipulator and your mining beam, you would think it would always do one thing, so it would always bring out the last thing you reloaded. No, it kind of flips a coin, I think. Um, anyway, here is our chromatic metal. We'll take that in our exosuit, and we can leave this out for a moment. And build ourselves a base computer. Okay, the Waukebea colony. Well, that's not quite 
descriptive. Searching cartographic archives, universal archive search reveals no prior claims on this site. Sonar test confirms site is suitable for construction. Claim site? Yes, we shall claim the base. And then be elevated to the view of a godlike RTS player before falling back to first person. Okay, search base computer archives. Sure. Accessing log from previous user. Entry 4925D follows. Storm sweeping across, but construction supplies low. Depositing shelter plans while need to back soon. Download plans. And there we go. We've learned to make a wooden wall requiring 40 carbon. Not a good planet for carbon. But before we walk away, let's come back into our base computer and yeah, yeah, base, current owner, good to know. Rename base. Let's rename the base my first base. That's descriptive. Now, you notice that it doesn't say my first base. Okay, so we'll use it again. Now it says my first base there and leave and it says my first base now i'd use it again a couple of times because there are teleporters and teleporters will take you to your base regardless if the base has a teleporter itself or not however if you don't cycle through it and make sure you've seen it acknowledge the name a few times very often it will just not use the name you've given. So once you've built yourself 20 bases, that can get really confusing. Now, construct a shelter. We're going to need more carbon before we even get started. So let's run over this away. There is something we should be aware of. Oh, wow, yep. That's, that's one of those things we should be aware of. Well, here we go. This will be easier, an easier way to get out. Ooh, look, and carbon too. I saw the hazard. I thought it might be one of those scorpion-like plants, but no. So the planets are very often if not all of them, riddled with holes. So you can find caves just about anywhere. Oh, hey, look over here, too. This is, I think it's called a knowledge stone? Maybe? Memory of the Viking. Uh, turpunk, 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 yig, yig, yig. The stone resonates, producing a sound that fills my mind. A vision begins to take shape. I see two large aliens locked in combat. Eventually one triumphs, leaving their victim to bleed to death. With the last of their strength, the vanquished alien gestures towards me. Accept knowledge. The name Viking floats in my vision, an echo of the strange vision I just experienced. A word in this alien tongue is seared into my brain. We have learned the Viking word for interloper. Well, now I can introduce myself as interloper. Greetings, I am Checkers, interloper. Okay, what do we have at carbon? We're going to need oxygen soon. We've got a noodle twist. And we've got whatever these are. need to carbon up fairly well. Alright, we should get back to the boat before it gets too much darker. Wait, 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 that is a lot of carbon somewhere. Okay, that wasn't it. Nor was that. What about this? No, this is a mineral. Alright, well, 
We've got some more carbon here either way. And there's a sentinel getting its gears in a bunch. Alright. Let's see what we can build with what we've got. Probably not a whole lot. But we'll try. Okay, and a Z to build basic components. F to select. F to select again. And we will put out a wooden floor. A mouse wheel over to walls. And let's put a wall here. And then, of course, a door. And then do we have enough for a roof? We need ferrite dust. Back out of building, ferrite dust, ferrite dust, and then we will get inside here and build our roof. Just a simple little shack for our first base. Base archives updated, new signal acquired. Base computer log updated, return to the base computer. Why don't we do that after the heat storm. It's a little better to ride out the storm in your boat because you can see the environmental warning inside your base, at least the simple bases I've made so far. You can't really tell unless you go outside. So yeah, how about that storm? Let's see what else we can do, if anything. Exosuit. So you have a technology, you have general, which is basically your inventory technology where you can install things like this oxygen recycler, but we don't have an oxygen filter. I don't know that we could build one either. Let's see. Is that something we could do? No, 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 no. I don't want to install. I would like to build. No, we don't seem to know that yet. And there is cargo, which I have not run into yet. Exosuit high capacity inventory. Same with your starship. You have a technology section where you can install things like weapons or shields or armor. But you can also install, sorry, I keep doing that. You can also install in your general inventory. Your multi-tool, however, is pretty much just your multi-tool. So you'll have a certain number of slots and you can build in any of them. Okay, so back to the base computer it was. Accessing log from previous user. Additional archives recovered. Entry 4925E follows. Construction largely a success. Recovered salvage technology from nearby plans logged. Scans indicate additional subterranean devices. Beginning search. Download plans. Whoever recorded these logs evidently had some success. I have access to their plans, and perhaps I can learn from their efforts. New building part learned. Blueprint analyzer. Technology recovery device. Portable blueprint decryption device. This field deployable memory salvage module allows the user to recover valuable data from old or damaged technology modules. It requires 20 magnetized ferrite and one carbon nanotube. Okay, well, let's grab our... Well, let's see here. We would need to mine up a whole bunch of ferrite dust. Basically, ferrite dust uh, refines into pure ferrite. Pure ferrite, if you refine it again, goes to magnetized ferrite, which is what that needs. So it's a, a significant amount of mining for the moment. So I may do that between episodes. For the moment, though, I would like to say thank you for watching. I hope you found the video entertaining and maybe even just a little informative. I would like to invite you to subscribe. Thank you kindly if you are already subscribed. I'd also like to invite you to like and share if you so desire. And hey, if you're feeling crazy, go ahead and hit that notification bell. Most of all, though, I would like to ask you to please, please take care.